Hi, Susan here. Okay, let's get the top part of this bodice ruched. And that's what's next. Okay, here we are ready to ruche this. I have the top part of the bodice already sewn. The one section, I have another one that, that goes inside. It is sewn, it is interfaced already. I don't have the triangle in the middle and that's because we have to ruche over these pieces pin it and sew it down so that the triangle piece can then be sewn in afterwards. I just have the two pieces that we're going to actually mold and ruche on the bodice. Okay, so let's get started. Hey guys, I have it prepped and I'm a little closer. Hopefully you can see what's going on. I just secured the, the uh, bodice down with pins here so it doesn't move around on us. And I have the right side of the lace um, out facing us. And I'm going to just gonna go ahead and put it on the top part like this. Remember that basting thread that I had over here? We're gonna follow it as much as we can. We might have to adjust that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pin it here on the top part like that. I have it pinned all the way and secured to the back, as you can see. And then let's go ahead and start the, the arusha. And we're gonna take a little tuck, we're gonna take from the bottom and then push it to the top like that, the small little tucks. And as we do that, we want to ruche a little bit here over the bodice. What we're gonna have to do then is also, here at the princess line, put little secured pins, because we're gonna have to make little tucks there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put like a little tuck, and just a little tucks, and we're just gonna keep doing that and molding it over till we see that we have enough of the ruching and where we want the ruching to be exactly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just take tucks and go up and pinch and up and pinch. Just gonna try to mold it as much as we can and see how it's, see as it's starting to ruche here, how it's wanting to pull some ruching here. So we're just gonna go ahead and put little tucks there where the actual princess seam is, okay? Just gonna keep tucking that there like that. We're going to put as much gathers as we want. This is all a matter of taste or design, however I had my design, remember? But we're just going to go ahead and just ruching it, ruching it, pulling that up, pulling that up. And see how I'm pulling here on my left hand? Um, I'm securing it as well because I want to make ample amount of ruching here on the princess seam as well. All right, you could see that and how the ruching is how it's developing beautifully and we're just going to pinch it up again like that that's all we're going to be doing and then you see how it is on an angle and just like my my thread marking is on an angle so so far it's working out nicely tucks going on you see the little tucking going all over there on the bust you can see that right there i'm going to ruche it on the bottom just keep ruching it till i get to the very end of where that seam is. So I'm just gonna keep ruching it like that and just put it, I'm gonna put as much as I can, so I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom there like that. Okay, so we've got um, the front princess seam nicely ruched, it looks like. I'm molding it over to the side. I want to then pin the lace to the actual bodice itself so it's secure here on the side as well. So that means I'm gonna to have to put like little thread tacks all the way across. And as I'm doing this, I'm gonna pull it tautly. Remember, we, we wanna make sure it's not loose and, and sagging. We want these little ruching marks to be pulled tautly. So here at the side seam, I'm gonna do some more tacking. So wherever I'm pinning it is going to have to be like a thread tack, if you can see that all the way. I'm just going to make it so it doesn't make large tucks, just small little tucks like that. So that's what I have here. And then we want to follow it over to the back as well. I'm pulling it to the back because I want it to be as tight as possible. We don't want big fat tucks. We want just little ones. Obviously there. I just want to tack here at the bus point. I might put a couple here at the side seam and then here at the princess seam or even in between, wherever it needs it. There's no rule of where you want to put those little tucks. And there it is. It is ruched and tucked. 
before you take it off, I had to take those pins that were all the way through to the mannequin just and replace them just to the actual bodice itself so that you can then remove the whole panel like this with the pins intact. And uh, so I have my threaded needle here like this and I'm just going to put a knot in the back. You do want to uh, wax the thread because otherwise it's going to knot on you and all you're going to be doing is from the back you're going to be taking um, the knot that way and you're going to go from the back to the top like this and you're just going to put like a little tuck like that and you've got to do that on each one so that one is tucked like that you can then go ahead and put like a little knot to secure it like this and then you're just going to go to the next one like you're just going to go over like this and you're going to go to the next space wherever that pin is go up from the back to the front and I'm going not forward but backwards back behind the stitch that I just came out of and then back up like that and you have to check it by taking the pin out that it's still nice and tucked where that pin was so you want to go where those pins are just like that and go all the way up like that. Um, you can either double the thread or have it single. It depends on where I'm working that I want to double it, but I'm just going to go down, pick out the pin. You want to do a knot here. I'm doing it on the side seam. You see the side seam here? I'm going to do it along the side seam. I'm going to go ahead and knot that for each one because I think it should be each one should be secured. And then you can go back up again like this and go into another location where you're going back down again. I want to explain to you what I did. All right. Um, I finished tacking it all the way on the center back, side back, a little bit here as well, side seam and along the princess seam and center front. And I stitched it here along a quarter of an inch so the lace is stitched to the actual bodice itself and I steamed it very very lightly guys very lightly you don't want to flatten this I used a curved um, form like this and then just let the steam go over it that's it now I'm going to cut off this excess up here like this there we go we don't need all this extra here as well so I'm going to cut this as well get that out of the way cut down here the extra lace you don't need all this extra either because I have an inch seam allowance already there established so that's enough leeway and this is what you have to do and now I'm going to get it on the form and you have to do the exact same thing on the other side but let me get this on the form and show you okay guys I have it on the dress form and you can see that it's shaping beautifully here I have it just pinned on the center on the front section mm -hmm. and it's wrapping around the body beautifully. It's gathered and it's not too chunky and it's not too light. It's a perfect amount of gathers. I'm happy with it. And we have to do the same thing again, like I said, on the other side. And I'll go ahead and do that and meet you in the next vlog where we're gonna start doing the course. Thank you, bye-bye. <laughs>